Hi, I'm Sandra, the creator at Sing, Play, Create. This is Music Class Teaching Tips. We're going to focus our learning on singing, dynamics, beat, rhythm, movement. Let's get started! Another activity that you can do after teaching a song and working on it is a rhythm play along or rhythm practice type activity where the students are going to play rhythms. And I always like to turn things into a game. So I have rhythm play alongs that I'll use. And instead of just saying, okay, everybody follow the video and we're going to clap along or we're going to play along. I do like to do it a little differently. And by this time of year, um, a lot of the students will even know how to tap the smart board and help you with the technology. But I do like to get the students involved as leaders in the classroom. And I just choose uh, ones I'm watching and I do make little marks to make sure I'm calling on different people, to make sure everybody's getting a chance and I don't call on my two favorite students every time that we play a game. So, and I don't let them choose teams. I don't waste a lot of time with that. I have the students in rows and I just split it down the middle or I split it row one and two and then row three and four. That's, or three and three, four and five, just depends on how many students are in that class, how I've got it set up for them. So what I do is I will get out the rhythm play along video and we'll go through the video, but we'll stop and I'll have everybody practice those slides, practice the rhythms. I want to make sure we're all together. We've been singing, tapping loud and soft if we're doing the Skidamarinka Dink song. And then I want them to get into rhythm land with me and I'll have them practice first and teach it to them. Then I will have team A, it's similar to the other game that I told about the body percussion, but I'll have team A do the rhythm and then I will have team B do the rhythm and we'll keep points and we have the victory dance at the end of the game. So if I turn the activity of playing along to rhythm patterns into a game, I'm gonna keep student engagement high. I'm gonna keep classroom management at zero level, meaning I'm managing it. <laughs> and we're going to be learning together. You can also use the rhythm activity as assessment time for yourself. For example, if you don't have a video or you're not using a video um, or even a presentation, you could have your flashcards, rhythm flashcards, that are on a music stand and the student leader holds it up for their team and then they go one, two, ready, play, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta and that's how they would play it for you. So if the leader can lead them and everybody counts and says the rhythm together and they get it right, you can then you will be able to if you're sitting in the back a little bit, you'll be able to watch the students and do some assessment of rhythms to see if they're able to do it on their own because the leader is actually holding the card up. So they're having to do it without any help. And then they'll, if most of them get it, depends how picky you want to be, but in my mind if 90% of them get it and they're doing it, then they get the point. And then I go to the other team and you can switch out leaders. Um, the kids love it because they're, they're very involved and they're leading it. And I'm not in the front of the class. I'm in the back or to the side, and I'm playing the drum or the piano, whichever way I've taught them to play along to those rhythms. So that's a fun game you can play any time of year using very simple um, manipulatives or PowerPoint presentations or videos to make that game happen. So we've practiced the song Skid and Marink. And we've worked really hard on dynamics. And so whatever activities I do after that, I want to make sure I keep the focus brought into the dynamics part of that lesson. So another way to use rhythm activities and also bring in the dynamics focus is to use instruments. And so you can get out the rhythm sticks and have them play instruments after they've been focused on singing the song. And we can do the same dynamics to the song with our rhythm sticks. I know, it's a little tricky when we get to forte or loud. So we have to teach them what that really means. 
And so um, one thing, uh, one analogy that I've used is as if you're petting your kitty. So maybe the pet kitty or the dog, they really like to be tickled. And so that's forte. But when they're just lightly, you know, getting a little pet or just a little tickle, that's pianissimo or quiet. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to think about our little kitty. We're going to be really kind to our kitty. And we're going to change our dynamic as we uh, listen to the music. So I would not have them sing and do this at the same time, especially the younger ones. I would just have them really focus on playing loud and soft with their rhythm sticks. I shared in a different video how to do rhythm sticks. Here's my quick tip would be to have the kids hold their hands up high and then the helper drops them into their hands and they put them on the floor until everybody's ready. And while we're waiting for everybody, I have them do a little sway dance. Then when everyone has their rhythm sticks, I say, rhythm sticks ready, and they're waiting for the conductor. And when the music begins, then you can play. And then I would play the piano or the xylophone, uh, just a simple little melody. You might want to use the Skidamarinka Marinka Dink song, but this activity could apply to pretty much any song that you do. So we can play then, and they're listening and they're resting at the end and then when they put them away they hold them up high in the sky and somebody comes and collects them and they're swaying. I love to have student helpers in the classroom because I can then either focus on transitioning or there's always a student or something that might need my attention and that frees me up to take care of that issue. I might even just be writing down assessments of what I watched on the students as they were playing loud and soft. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. I hope you will subscribe. Let's keep kids moving and learning with music. Sing my creation.